Hi, my name is Jeff Watson. I want to welcome you to a, a really exciting new program that we're doing online, which is the Watsatile Online Art Education Program, which mimics very closely the uh, program and the curriculum that we use in our actual traditional uh, atelier that we've had for 22 years now, my wife and I, Krista and I. Um, so what I want to do is go right into talking about one of the phases, which is the head drawing phase one, which means in this phase, we're going to be working from um, concepts similar to Andrew Loomis. We're going to be working from the Asaro head, the skull, and um, many different other methods just to kind of get you really, really grounded in measurement devices. The abstraction is going to be dealt with here as well. So I'm bringing on an example here of the Asaro head from, let's see, that's a three, well, yeah, three quarter. And you'll be doing every different angle, simple side, complex side, and we're going to be walking through these examples. And so this would actually be executed real time. You'd watch me work through it. I would talk you my way through it. In this particular phase, we have a workbook that probably constitutes about 100 pages of, of supplemental information that is incredibly good to study from. So you'll have that access to that as well as these drawings uh, or these videos that will walk you through each one of these exercises. So in this particular um, phase, we do the Asaro head. We also work on the skull. And the skull, we will want to commit to memory as much of these different concepts as possible. How do you commit something to memory? Lots of repetition, correct repetition over a, a period of time that allows it to sink in, and then you can use it without having to think about it. But in order to do that, we have to do a lot of drawing. So I'm going to walk you through this. This is something we do in our head drawing fundamentals class at our atelier. These are some examples of practice skulls that I've provided for you. I've provided about um, 10, 15 images um, of, of skulls from different angles that you can then practice from. So you have access to this huge, huge amount of information in, this, in, this, in these uh, drawing phases especially. Every phase is very robust with information, but you'll find that these early phases of drawing constitute, again, huge workbooks that go along with them. So you have lots of angles to learn from. So anyway, um, we're going to go ahead and segue into some of the videos that were shot during this phase. So hopefully you enjoy. Um, you'll get a little snippet of uh, what they look like and, and how my verbal is and how the approach is when I'm teaching you online. And so hopefully you enjoy and we see you in the program soon. Take care and enjoy this phase. Okay, the zygomatic bone coming down. Okay, we'll do it on both sides. Comes over, kind of down. Now I'm just gonna like, again, put on a pair of sunglasses more or less. There's all kinds of ways you can flesh out a socket, but I like to kind of just keep it real simple and just kind of get it basically ghosted in. When I say ghosted in, just lightly sketched in, and then I'll remove any spillover that looks kind of funky and, and that I don't like. Driven to be the best I can. I love to train. I've made a life out of training and helping other people to do the same and have, have helped facilitate so many different careers and I take so much pride in, in watching the young the teachers at my atelier that now have gone on to great careers um, and watching how good they've gotten and remembering back to when they they could barely sharpen a pencil or barely hold a pencil or didn't know anything about edges or values and didn't understand any of these concepts and now you look at their work and it's phenomenal and I'm um, you know if you go to our gallery section of this uh, every once in a while I'll go back and look at some of the efforts that have been um, the, the development that has occurred. Um, I have a lot of artists on there from my atelier um, and I'm sure I'll have many of them from this this new endeavor that will the advanced planes of the head, the Asaro head. We've only built so far off of the very simple memorization planes of the head. We now are going to go in, in the next session uh, into some more advanced concepts of breaking planes down. I'm already kind of using some of those, but I haven't told you about them yet. I don't mean to confuse you, I'm just showing you that we are gonna draw upon our key areas, the skull, the abstraction, the planes, and we're gonna wrap those all together into one package that gives us an incredible, incredible um, arsenal of, of knowledge and information to attack these drawing problems. I know I sound kind of over the top as far as my, um, but you know, this is cool stuff. I mean, this is really neat. Um, concepts that when I was first showing it to me, I couldn't believe how how cool it was, how effective these these methods were, and it was um, 
it was just amazing to me, you know, that no one had shown me this in school. No one had even mentioned it or talked about it or even knew. And it wasn't necessarily that they were trying to deceive me. They just didn't know themselves that there was such a system. The system has been kind of, you know, lost in the shuffle um, of, of concepts that don't work very well. And we're now bringing that back to show to you that there is a system that's tested and tried and has been used for a long time by lots of good painters and artists to create very believable uh, navigation of, of the things that they have to draw on a regular basis. Put the orbs of the eye in, drew a little axis line across just to show me where the center line is. Again.